Did you have a litter of rabbits and the mother didn't pull any fur, maybe it was her first litter? You're wondering what you can do to keep them warm? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you wanna do it. Today we're gonna to talk about what to do with your baby rabbits if the mother doesn't pull any fur. Now I don't have any baby rabbits right now, but I've seen this comment come up a couple of times lately, and I know it's a common issue with first time mothers, and I thought, I don't think I've ever really talked about this topic specifically in a video. I mean, I've talked about it, but I haven't addressed it in one video topic, so I figured I'd get it done, and we could still talk about it even though I don't have any baby rabbits. So let's get into it real quick. When you have, uh, let me pull a nest box down here just so you can see what we're talking about. All right, so this is what I use for a nest box. And I usually line it with cardboard on the sides, stuff it with straw. And then what's gonna happen when the mother gets ready to have her babies, generally speaking, if she's an experienced mom anyway, she'll get in there and she'll build a little bit of a nest. She'll pull a bunch of fur out and she'll line the nest with fur. Then she'll have the babies in there and cover them up with fur. But if your mother rabbit didn't pull any fur, maybe she just had the babies in there or worse yet, had them on the cage floor and all the fur fell through the bottom of the cage, Pick the babies up as soon as you can, put them in the nest box, get them covered up with some straw until you can get something to cover them up with. Let me set this down, we'll talk a little bit about what that can be. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can address that. Um, they do need that extra warmth, that extra covering to keep them warm, and just covers right over the top of them. If you don't have any fur from the mother, you can use a couple of different things. Cotton batting, like what you would stuff a pillow with, that will work just fine. Just pull it out, make it all loose so it's not just one big clump and hard. You know, cotton balls for that matter would work just fine. You can pull those out, string them out, make them loose, and cover, them, uh, uh, cover the baby rabbits up with that. Dryer lint will work just fine. Again, fluff it up, pull it out so it's not just a big clump of dryer lint, you know, hard clump. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. You, any of those kind of um, natural fibers, and dryer lint is mostly just cotton fuzz and, and those kinds of things that get caught up in there. So any of that stuff's gonna work just fine. You shouldn't have to worry about the mother abandoning the babies or any of those kinds of things. It doesn't matter about the smell. That, that won't bother her, so you're okay to do that. Now, here's another option. Let me bring you in a little bit close, and we'll kind of show you real quick. Even though my, my rabbit has not had babies yet, we'll show you what you can do. Okay, we're pretty close, so it's going to be hard for me to be in camera and show this at the same time, but let me get in here and get her kind of situated. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Make sure she's not grumpy today. Okay, so you'll notice most of the time this section right here, whoa, she's going to bite at me if I'm not careful. <laughs> that section is the, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not coming to hurt you. I'm not coming to hurt you. You can see her dewlap hanging down there under her chin right there. So I don't want to get my hands too close to her. She's a little grumpy. But a lot of times what you can do, here, why don't you scoot back over here in camera. Oh, come on. Come on, knock over here. There we go. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine is you can just grab this fur right there in her dewlap and pull it out. It pulls out pretty easy, and especially after they've had young, that fur right there, um, it, there's hormones that they release that makes that fur very easy to pull out. So again, I don't wanna mess with her too much. She can be a little grumpy. She's not wanting to be dealt with today, so here, let's see if I can grab a hold of some of that fur and pull. And you can see it just pulls out super easy. Now that wasn't very much for her, that was just a little bit, but if she's had babies recently, then again the hormones that she releases are going to make that fur release a little bit easier. So you can pull that out pretty simple. And if you don't have a grumpy rabbit like I do, it makes it a little bit simpler to do. Um, you might want to wear some gloves just in case, because uh, getting bit by a rabbit is no fun. But anyway, so again, that, that fur right underneath their, on their dewlap, that loosens up. It's easy to pull. You can just pull a bunch of that fur out. That's exactly what she's going to do anyway. Um, whenever they have their babies, that's where they pull the fur from, is from that dewlap itself. So you can do the same thing. You can pull that out. Now, if she's already pulled fur and like for some reason it got lost, it, it, it fell through the bottom of the cage or whatever, then again, Cotton batting, dryer lint. Um, I don't use a 
Uh, stay away from using something like a towel or a washcloth or any of those kinds of things to cover them up because it's a solid surface, so to speak. And when the mother gets in there to feed the babies, there's a good chance they'll get trapped underneath that. She won't be able to get to them very easily. So use something loose and fibrous like dryer lint or cotton batting or cotton balls or, um, I mean, there's several different things you could use, um, but you do want to get something like that to cover them with to give them the warmth so that they stay alive. Hopefully that makes sense. This is a pretty quick, easy topic to address. If you've had the issue, I'm hoping that this is going to help you with that. I've seen a couple of comments come up about that lately, and uh, I've been so busy I haven't been able to get to them directly, so I figured let's just address it in a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, God bless.